What is hemoptysis? It is known as expectoration of blood from the respiratory tract. It has to be assessed first whether the bleeding is from the respiratory tract or the nasal cavities as an epistaxis or from the gastrointestinal tract as the treatment to all are different. Causes of hemoptysis Any bronchial causes such as bronchogenic carcinoma both massive and invasive is a common cause nowadays. Small cell and squamous cell carcinomas are central in nature erode the major pulmonary vessels resulting in massive hemoptysis. Pulmonary metastasis from distant tumors like melanoma, sarcoma and adenocarcinoma of the breast and colon can also cause bleeding. Number 2 cause is bronchiectasis in which there can be intermittent hemoptysis and Number 3 cause is acute bronchitis. The parenchymal diseases The most important is tuberculosis. In patients of tuberculosis cavitation is frequently the source of the bleeding but rarer complications such as erosion of pulmonary artery aneurysm into the cavity can also be the cause. Streptococcus pneumoniae can cause bacterial superinfection in patients with chronic bronchitis. Organisms such as Staphylococcus aureus and Klebsiella pneumoniae can cause lung abscess and necrotizing pneumonia by devitalizing the lung parenchyma. Aspergillus species can develop into mycetoma in pre-existing cavities and cause erosion leading to bleeding. The vascular diseases are Pulmonary infarction due to any embolism or any arteriovenous malformation. Pulmonary edema due to elevated left ventricular and end diastolic pressure. The sputum color in pulmonary edema is pink and frothy. Good pasture syndrome in which there is association of glomerulonephritis with pulmonary hemorrhage. The immunoglobin G binds to the glomerular or alveolar basement membrane. The other causes are polyarteritis nodosa and hemosiderosis. Other causes, such as pulmonary endometriosis, can cause cyclical bleeding known as catamenial hemoptysis. Foreign bodies can lead to irritation and bleeding. And other causes such as thrombocytopenia, anticoagulants, and even minor trauma can cause hemoptysis. That's all for this video. In the next video, we will learn about the assessment and management of hemoptysis.